Next up, Carrick United and Boyle Celtic. Lachlan from Boyle and from uh, Carrick, Anthony O'Donnell. Anthony, hi. <laughs> uh, Anthony, um, obviously a home draw important. I mean, we've been talking about that throughout. Obviously, yeah, yeah. I think everyone here in the room wanted a home draw, so we were lucky enough to get it. But there's no easy games at this round anyway. Everyone is there on merit, so we'll just we'll take the game as it comes. And we'll, we'll treat the, it. the fact that Boyle are based up in the Sligo League, I mean, you, would you know much about their team? Not really, no. So we'll probably have to do a little bit of homework to see what we're, what we're up against. But obviously they're in the quarterfinals, so they're there on merit. Yeah, just from your own point of view, uh, Jack Doherty, am I right in saying he's scored in every round so far? I'd say you're probably right, yeah. yeah. yeah 12 Whereas goals. No, 12 it's goals. He's, he's on a bit of a run, all right, but I'm sure they'll have a, a plan to put stop to that, I suppose. Is he he's fit anyway? Oh, he is, yeah. 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 Fit, yeah. fit and ready to go, yeah. And, uh, just to talk, to talk briefly about the experience of you know playing in the... FAI Junior Cup and, and the, the sort of uh, thrill it is to be coming to a place like this. Yeah, well, obviously it's, it's the biggest cup competition in Europe, like you know. So to get to this stage alone is is a massive achievement. But obviously getting the taster for it here today, you just you want to be back here in May. That's that's what everyone's dream is to be back here in May. So hopefully it'll be us. Well, listen, we wish you the best, Lachlan. Um, first ever quarter final for Boyle. So this is you know it's it's, it's new territory yeah, for you in a way. Uncharted territory for yeah. us, definitely. But. Um, I think from our own perspective, we've been progressing well over the last couple of years. We've won the league in Sligo two of the last three years. We're going reasonably well in it again. So the objective really for us was to try and get a run in this competition. As you mentioned yourself, now the one issue that we would have a little bit is that some of these players might play, our teams may play against each other yeah. in respective cups in Leinster or Munster or wherever, where we wouldn't really be familiar with any of them. But hopefully we'll have our homework done and we'll... Mm get through to the next round. It's also very nice to be representing the northwest of the country. I mean, there's a great geographical spread when you look at where the teams are from, and you're flying the flag for, for that area. Yeah, well, we're the only ones left, I think, after we beat Ballina in the last 32, and I think that was us, the last team in Connacht then. So there's an achievement in that for us now. But having said that, now that you're in the last eight, as you've been talking about, you get out, you look at the pitch, you're kind of thinking to yourself, two more games, I could be out there, you know? So hopefully... With a bit of luck and a couple of decisions go our way, could happen. There's another Mourinho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just one last thing before I let you go. I mean, I know uh, Boyle made it to the last 16 last year, uh, into the last eight now. And it touches on what I was talking about with the lads earlier on as well. In terms of the coverage that you're getting locally now, can you feel that there's a bit of a momentum behind it? There is you? a bit of a buzz beginning to generate. Uh, you know, the local papers and that kind of thing, even local radio have been pretty good to us lately. So... Long may it continue as well, you know, and the, it'll kind of it's progression for the club as well, you know. So our name is getting out there a little yeah. bit, and hopefully we can get back to this stage again. And the likes of Carrick United won't have to send scouts out to the Sligo <laughs> to see what we're like. <laughs> well, they can look at the TV maybe and, and see some shots from there. Uh, guys, the very best of luck Thanks on the 11th, 10th, 12th, whatever date in March it is that your fixture is uh, fixed for. The very best of luck to both Carrick and to Boyle.